Okay, good morning boys and girls. Welcome to Easter Sunday. We've arrived at the celebration day and today we're going to do a craft that you guys can do at home. All right, ready? Here we go. All right, here we go. Here are our materials that we're going to need. So you're going to need some glue. Now I'm just going to use a normal glue stick, but if you've got craft glue at home, that might be really good to try. You're going to need um, four pieces of card with two longer pieces and two shorter pieces. Okay. Um, and I just cut up a piece of um, a box to make mine. And then you're going to need some wool. All right. So the first part of the craft is to actually create a frame out of your card that you've cut up. So we're just going to glue those ones together and um, I quite like the frame when bits of the frame kind of stick out. So I try not to do it too perfectly, um, but you might prefer to make yours go right to the very edge of the frame. And also, depending on what box you cut up, you could even possibly um, have those pieces of the frame sticking out. So for example, down here, I could do it that way if it if I thought that the pattern was going to work well. Otherwise, you can just do it this way, just like I have. Now, for those of you who are very creatively minded, um, you could even uh, color your card in to um, to make that look more beautiful. Um, otherwise, a really nice, just plain wooden frame might actually look really good all right i actually paused my video there for a little bit just to try and help the glue stick for a little bit longer um obviously the longer you can leave it for hopefully the more stable the actual frame will be whilst you were paused i took a whole bunch of my wool and cut a piece now i'm going to show you that i really chose a long piece of wool because the longer it is, the more effective the whole thing will look. All right, but the longer it is, the trickier it can be. So I'm just gonna make a bit more space on my table by popping other things away. We don't need any of these other things now. All right, and I'm going to start at the top. I'm gonna to just hook one piece around there and carefully I'm going to weave over and over and over along the tall, the tall part of the frame. Now, boys and girls, because we're just using glue stick and cardboard, you've got to do it fairly loosely. And once you think you've used up maybe half of your wool, you're going to go to the halfway point, And then um, from the top, you're going to twist around approximately at, in the middle. And um, this can be a bit tricky and fidgety. So um, and this is where when you've got a really long piece of wool, it looks effective, but it can get a bit muddled up. So here we go. We're going back around the other side to kind of create a bit of a, of a capture point there. And look, have a look at where I've placed it. It's not quite in the middle. It's towards the top. And I'm pretty certain you can figure out why we've done that. And then we're going to twist it around the short way. Okay, and we're going to do that until we're virtually out of wool. So I'm waiting for the end of my wool to appear. There it is. And now I'm going to, uh oh, my glue's coming undone because I've probably made it a bit tight. And at this point, I'm going to now do a cross in the middle to kind of tie it off. All right, now I actually quite like it when it all comes from one direction and keeps going around, but you could also wrap it around this direction, making an X in the middle of your craft. Okay, so you're gonna do that until your wool is virtually finished. And then once the wool is finished, you're going to just tuck it in. And that is making a framed cross to, but notice, boys and girls, that the cross is in fact empty. Jesus is no longer on the cross. And that is because today, on Easter Sunday, we remember him having risen. 
All right, now remember I didn't leave my glue to dry for very long. The longer the better. I'm gonna to go to the back here and I'm actually just gonna tuck that bit of excess wool into some other, into the back. And, um, and that is my Easter cross craft complete. Okay, and you could then add um, a string to the top which would allow you to hang it as a door frame perhaps, or you could just paste it onto a wall or um, keep it as a keepsake. Now, boys and girls or mums and dads are also made it with a couple of other ideas. So if you happen to have paddle pop sticks at home, you can use paddle pop sticks instead of cardboard, okay? And um, those ones are actually tried to use hot glue to get them stuck on. And then finally, if you're somebody who really likes um, more authentic looking things, I also made one, though it was very tricky and um, it's not very stable, I would have to use the time a lot, I'd have to use a lot more time to wait. But I made a very authentic looking one using just sticks from the garden and some Hessian style rope. All right, boys and girls, I hope you enjoy making this activity. Um, don't forget to post some photos of the completed products. Thank you. Bye.